Hello, and in today's Drupal video, we're going to go through how to make your website more friendly to the users. Because if you notice at the moment, I've created just some dummy blog entries here. And number one, number one I talked about Node. The, the name of that... Um, the name of that piece of content is slash node slash 10 and that's the default as you saw on the drupal.org site that's not friendly to search engines because slash node slash 10 doesn't tell them anything but more importantly it's not friendly to users so why don't we do something about that um well today we are i'm going to be using the path auto module this also requires a token module and I'll put links to both of them in the description. But, yeah. So, what we're going to want to do is just go and download those modules. And then we'll want to go into our website. As, as I, I keep saying, I'm on my local install. So, this will be on your web server if you want to use a local install like I am and remember in in the last video we created these two folders modules and themes in the sites folder specifically for uh, contributed modules you don't put your modules in the modules folder of your Drupal site that's bad and if you want to know why go back to one of my earlier videos so we're just going to drag those two modules token and path auto right into the modules folder and then we're going to go back to our drupal site and we're going to go to administer site building modules now i should also mention that to do to do this um To do this, I enabled the blog content type because I want them to be blog posts. Um, so yeah. So I want them to be blog posts. Now you're gonna need to go down and enable the path auto module. That's going to tell you that you need to enable the path and the token module. Um, and if we we now see a new option in our site building, it's called URL aliases. Click that and go to automated alias settings. And you're going to want to go to the node path settings because remember we always want to affect nodes. Um, and we're just going to focus on the um, blog entries path and to see what you can put in here because you have to have these codes title war and things like that you can expand that to see what you can put in um, but yeah um, so we're just gonna edit the pattern for blog entries so let's say we want it to be at uh, slash blog slash uh, the date so for me it's day dd month month which is the format that looks funny to us in uh, the UK I think Americans do month and date first and then we're going to say 
Yeah. Now it's important that you, um, although this default uh, settings is bad, um, because you want to be on the same level as the other, and I recommend you uncheck that, but if you're going to do that, you have to make sure you specify something for all the other content types. So I'm just going to say stories. Title Roll And then that's all of them done. So nothing will be left without path. So now if we click a save configuration we notice that if we create a new blog entry with uh, the name of uh, let's say test four and I'm just using placeholder text here um, and then we notice that we get automatic aliases. You want to do that. An alias will be generated for you. If you wish to create your own alias below, uncheck this option. To control the format of generated aliases, see the path auto settings. So that checkbox is basically saying let path auto do its thing, so make sure you don't uncheck that. So we're just going to hit save. And if we look at the um it comes up with the blog slash name slash the date um so so, so that's great it's really nice and uh good but if we go back to our main home page and we look at test three, we notice that it's um this this the same because that's that's an old node. Um so what do we do about this? Well all we simply need to do is go into our content which you can get to administer and then content management and then content check all our content and select this drop down to update path alias and then click update this will change all the paths to reflect the new settings so now if we go back uh, to previous one that's what we get right it worked so Thank you for watching this video. I hope it's helped you, and hope, hopefully, you tune in for the next video. Thanks for watching. I'll put links to Pathfinder and Token Module in the description.